So if you have been wondering how can I fix my relationship, um, trust me, I've had those moments where I've been thinking that as well. Hi everyone, my name is Penny from Wacko Witch Astrology. I am happily married, as you can see, and I am actually here today with my husband, Kendall. Hi. Hopefully you can hear him okay. He's uh, in the background with me. Um, so even though I'm very blessed and I found a wonderful Libra husband that I have uh, spoke about before, I've brought him on my channel before, we have our fair share of fights as well. And I know with some of the recent transits that have been going on, like I posted about on Facebook with Venus opposite Pluto and now it's Mars retrograde, this is something that is going to be affecting a lot of people here, these relationship troubles. So. Um, I wanted to do a, this pick a card on how can I fix my relationship and uh, that's what we're doing here today. So go ahead and focus on the energy of the cards, um, focus on the relationship that you personally want to ask about. Maybe it's not a romantic relationship for you. Maybe it's a friendship or a work relationship that you really want to fix because it would make your life easier. You know, having a difficult work relationship makes your life pretty difficult. Um, so go ahead and if you have two different people you want to ask about, you can focus on uh, two different cards and really just pick the card that is calling you the most. Um, try not to use logic. Don't just pick your favorite number. Don't just pick your favorite stone or anything like that. Um, and we are going to go ahead and get going with this. So card number one. Okay, so for card number one, we have the Five of Wands here. And the Five of Wands, this card has a lot to do uh, with, with fighting, with bickering, and arguments that don't really make a whole lot of logical sense, arguments that don't necessarily do anything good or constructive for us. So what I'm getting from this is that you just kind of need to have fun with this person. Like you have a lot of a really passionate energy involved in this relationship and uh, in this environment with what you're doing. You know, it's not necessarily romantic feelings for all of you watching this, um, but it's more like playful childlike energy, like two kids who want to play together at the playground, but they actually like to roughhouse quite a bit. So I think the two of you need a way to kind of get this out in a fun way and a way that can complement uh, your goals and what you are working towards together, rather than a way that's destructive. What do you think, Kendall? I'll say too, if you start arguing, maybe stop and think about what you're actually arguing over and question, is it really something worth fighting about? Because as you said, with a five of wands, most of the time it's kind of silly arguments that don't really mean anything. So take some time to stop and think, is this worth fighting over? Definitely. And the good news here is that it doesn't look like there's any like deep seated bad blood here. It looks like it's more so uh, just some energy that needs to be let loose in a more mm -hmm. fun way. All right. So card number two. We have the nine of cups. So this card is about satisfaction. It's about getting what you want and feeling that all of your needs are met. So I feel like this is a really like homey type of relationship where um, there's there's a lot of like Taurus energy, maybe a lot of Cancerian energy um, where the two of you really feel like you need to be comfortable in your space. You need to feel like you're secure in your environment. So what I'm getting from this is that you need to respect each other's space a little bit more you need to have space that is perhaps specifically designated for you. You need to have, um, if you're sharing meals together, you need to have kind of bigger portions for each of you so you don't feel like you're fighting over resources or anything like that. You basically just need to feel really secure and really content and really taken care of. A good question to ask uh, this person you're having issues with is, um, what do you need? Like, what can I do? to help? What can I do to make you feel more relaxed and more at ease? I mean, I don't have anything to add. I think you hit the nail on the head there. Okay, fair enough. 
Okay, card number three. And this one is the Ace of Coins. So with this card, what I'm getting is that there's some degree of stagnance in this relationship, something that's not quite moving forward the way that was expected or the way that they felt it was supposed to. So there needs to be something kind of new that's being brought to the table, that's being offered, uh, that's being contributed. So it could be something that's kind of like a show of peace or a show of admiration um, or something to show how much you actually value this person. So if it's a coworker, uh, it could be something just to show them how much you appreciate their work. If this is a relationship partner, this could mean that it's time to take your relationship to the next level. Uh, and one of you is going to have to go and buy a ring and get down on one knee. What do you think, Kendall? All right, so Kendall's taking a look at the card. We're going to see what he thinks. Do you think it's too soon for them to propose, or do you think someone's going to have to make a move here? And it's not always going to be about proposing. Like, if you guys aren't even in an official relationship yet, then this could be about just uh, making the relationship official. Well, the ace is like something being offered to you. So it could be a proposal. I would say maybe even now is the time to kind of have the two of y'all focus energy into building whatever it may be if it's a relationship between you and your co-worker maybe putting that energy together towards a project and uh, just kind of working things out along that path if it is your relationship partner it could be a proposal if you're already married to the person maybe it's time to take that next step towards looking for a house or building the home and moving down that path or buy her like a second ring i like that idea <laughs> i think she's trying to give me a hint. i had a dream that you bought me another ring oh uh, yeah she's definitely trying to give me a hint <laughs> okay uh card number four. Oh boy okay seven of swords oh, dun dun no, no. dun oh okay Funny. So, Seven of Swords. There's definitely something in this relationship that seemed unfair um, that made... I feel like for most of you, it's going to be you that felt cheated, uh, but realize that the other person might feel cheated as well. It might feel like there's something that's that's not fair, that needs to be settled. Um, if it's a someone you work with, it could be that someone took credit for something and there was some dispute over who actually deserved the credit. Maybe they swept out a sail from underneath you. Um, I'm not feeling like this is going to be a romantic relationship for most people. Um, if, if it is, it's probably a case where one party cheated. So what do you think, Kendall? Yeah, if it is romantic, like she said, somebody cheated, somebody's lying. It really, whatever relationship this is, somebody's probably not being very honest. Yeah. Okay. Let me take a look at that real So quick. we're in a position um, with this card. It means you guys are in a position where you're trying to make things yeah. even. You're trying to make things fair. And sometimes that means you're in like a competition of who can hurt or who can undercut the other one worse. But realize that you're both just trying to make things fair. What do you think? Uh, well, that card during, in relationships, like... Uh, I think there's some degree of paranoia could, and there's like yeah, distrust too. It could, if you already have feelings that somebody, that your partner is cheating on you or just being very dishonest, it could be justified. Like they might actually be doing that. And a lot of times you'll have that natural instinct if that's going on. Anyway. So what should they do? Should they cheat on their partner too? No, an you eye for an cheat. eye? No. I'm just kidding. No, you shouldn't. <laughs> eye for an eye leaves everybody blind yeah yeah apparently old, old motto but it's true you you're just gonna end up hurting yourself and hurting your partner yeah but i'm i'm more so feeling like this is a situation where the the distrust and the feeling like they need to do something to make this situation right for themselves i feel like that's mutual and i feel like that's something that both parties are kind of suffering from right now um 
So that, that probably needs just some lights shed on it, really. Like, just shine some light on how you both are feeling and, you know, that little bit of a feeling of inferiority that you've been facing and that need to kind of redeem yourself or, you know, redeem your honor or whatever it is. Um, just Just understand that and explore that so you can start to let it heal. All right, card number five. Totally froze, didn't it? Did you hit the thing at all? You didn't, don't hit the thing. You didn't hit it, did you? I just hit the mouse. Oh, you touched it? Yeah, I touched the mouse because of the screen. Oh, dang, I hope it's still recording. Um, we don't know for sure. There's no way to know. We can just try to keep recording out of good faith. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, hopefully it's still recording. I don't want to have to start this over. Okay. Um, so we have the death card here. I hope you can see it. This, unfortunately, is a really, really strong signal that you are going to have to let this one go. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean throwing the whole relationship out, but uh, all the turmoil and stuff that you faced from this relationship, you have to let it go. All of those uh, painful, deep things that have been tearing you apart over the past three months, you're going to have to let them go. Kendall, what do you think? No, I think that's absolutely right. Yeah. It's a metaphorical death. Like, it's... It, you gotta cast it aside. Let it die. Um, if you don't... Just as in, like, literal death of a person or an animal, if you hold on for too long, it's gonna eat at you internally. Mm -hmm. And you're just gonna fall into the state of depression yeah. and then turmoil. So just let it go. It's gonna be rough at first, but it... It's time to let it go. And just to clarify, he's not saying anyone is going to die. No, 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 he's no, not no. saying it's that. An... He's comparing it to mourning a death. Yeah, this is normally the death card is going to symbolize a metaphorical death. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Card number six. We have the five of pentacles. So this is a situation uh, where one party in this relationship really feels like they need help. They desperately, desperately need help, and they're hoping that the other party will come and help them and give them a hand with what they need. Now, once again, there's a big chance that this feeling is mutual. There's a big chance that you're both feeling this sensation of disparity, like you're not getting what you need, and you're looking to the other person like, why won't you help me? Don't you see that I'm suffering? So I think you guys need to just kind of realize that and, you know, realize what's going on and realize that both of you are suffering. Both of you are in kind of a desperate situation right now and you're looking to each other to be able to fix it. And it doesn't look like this is a situation where either one of you is really able to help the other right now, at least not in the ways that were expected. But if you, if you start to put yourself in each other's shoes a little bit more, then you'll start to find the areas where you actually can help each other. Uh, and this can be a mutually beneficial relationship. It doesn't have to be a situation where you both are operating out of uh, disparity or a feeling of spiritual or physical illness. You know, do you get what I'm saying, Kendall? Yeah, I would say this card is indicating that you this now's the time that you need to be very clear on what it is that you want what you need because you might both be struggling to get that message across so try to be as clear as possible during this time yeah yeah um and i feel like it's about more than just needing to talk to each other i feel like it's needing to have more awareness of what it's like to be one another um so just try to imagine yourself in their shoes. Try to look around at their life and look around at the things that have been going on for them. And uh, maybe start thinking about ways you can help. Maybe you're going to be the first one to take that step and be the bigger person and look for ways that you can help them. Uh, and hopefully they'll reciprocate. If not, then blah, that sucks. <laughs> um, but I hope they do. I hope that works out for you. 
Well, anyway, thank you so much for joining us today and for watching. I have a new astrology service that I have been working on, um, and it's specifically for relationships for either married couples or people who have been together for a long time. Um, and I'm testing it out first on my husband and I, so we're, we're the crash dummies, the guinea pigs right now. Uh, but so far, I think it's actually been helpful, so it's not not that bad it's not as bad as being an actual crash dummy uh, for sure so if this service uh, works out for us I'm probably gonna see if I can find a few other volunteers to test it out on and then I'm gonna put it out on my website uh, for purchase in the future uh, for now if you would like to get a tarot reading or an astrology report I have all kinds of different like love reports and commitment reports and um, even some things that tell you like how to please your partner a little bit more in the bedroom um, so go ahead and check out my website and please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and following me on Facebook and check out any other links I have below in the description uh, for updates on what's going on with me. So thank you so much for joining. Thank y'all. See y'all later. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Hey, what do I do? You hit the red button. <laughs>